Hello and welcome to our channel, Mornings at Sunrise Cottage. My name is Vicki, I'm here with Neil, and today we're in Tennessee. We've gone down to where we have our tiny house, and Neil is making a few changes. We have finally decided to sell our tiny house because we've not really had a chance to use it like we thought we would. Neil is making some changes in the next few days on the tiny house. He's already taken down the steps, and you can tell that the porch is about um, almost five foot tall from the ground up to where Neil is. And it may not be quite that tall, but it's a lot taller than all of the other porches around us. So what Neil's gonna do, he's going to take off this landing where the porch was, and then he's going to put a banister over at the porch and our porch will actually then be like a balcony of sorts and this does two things it um, gives us a little more privacy there we are not coming right up uh, the stairs where our neighbors are right beside of us and it gives us more parking space so after he finishes we'll have about two and a half parking spaces there Now Neil has taken these sides down that was out there. And he will put um, the side that was out there with the metal in it here to complete this side. Fortunately, they were exactly the same size, so it was very easy to do. But this has really been a job. They did uh, an unusual build there. They put the post all the way from the ground all the way up going through the deck. I keep calling it a deck, but let me tell you what it actually is. It is approximately five feet by 12 feet porch. And then it had this three feet uh, landing section on it. So that's what he's taking off in addition to taking off the steps. It also has a full roof over that. We've always enjoyed coming out and just having our coffee of the mornings and you can see the birds in the trees on the other side over there. So it's a pretty fun little spot. This has been terrible to get off. I've never seen as many nails in anything. I believe they could drive a Mack truck over it and it would have held up. What do you think? all else fails, just grab your hammer and beat the living daylights out of it. What he did to the other side. Neil had a really difficult time with that. He worked and worked and he already had like um, the back was kind of a loose on this other side and you can see that he put something up there with a pulley system so I could help him and hold that other part tight so it wouldn't fall down on him. If you lean way out, you can see the Smoky Mountains from our porch. And there's a lot of trees around. So it's kind of got a good feel to it. Now I'm on the porch, looking back toward the entryway, the door there. Now we're going to go in and I'm going to show you where all the materials are. We've brought these in and this is the door that we think we're going to put in on the side. We're not really sure at this point. This is where we're going to put the door. We're going to take that whole window out and we're going to put either the red door or the tan door. 
there, but at this point we were not really sure. We ended up going with the red door because it was easier to do. Now Neil had to tear out all of this window and everything beneath and all around it. It was really a big job. He had to tear it out from one side to the other and we had to move that pantry over a little bit so he could do it. But we're kind of looking out the side door there. But we have stuff just everywhere. And there's Pepper, she doesn't know what to do. There's so much stuff in her house. But she's a good boss, so she's supervising very well. Now we're gonna step back out on the porch so you can get a little bit better idea of what it's like. I've got some soil laying there, but all the outside of our uh, tiny house is cedar. And it's even trimmed in cedar. And then if you'll notice, we have the metal that is actually goat uh, fencing. It's um, kind of like cattle panels, except it's goat panels. And as you can see, it's got the little extension out here and then the stairs, they go down to the right there. He's already taken off the banister there going down the steps. And we brought our trailer down to haul all of our supplies in. So I did this before we started the work that you saw before. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what Neil had to work with. I'm going to take you down the steps and you can see there's a lot of steps there and this is what's on the bottom of the tiny house is artificial stone and then we have a long uh, patio there and it steps up here and goes all the way to the back of the tiny home and here's kind of what, what it looks like there's a lot of different style little homes through there, but it's a really nice community. And this is a better view of the patio that goes, up, goes all the way to the back. I also wanted to tell you that the reason that we're using this like this and the reason it has like the um, We'll square out. We are completely using things we had as much as possible. You know that we like to do that. It both saves money and it um, keeps stuff from being thrown away that still has some use in it. So as long as something has some use in it, then we try to keep it and work with it. So yesterday evening, uh, we got, Neil got this much done, with very little help from me. I did what I could, but there wasn't a whole lot I could do. So he got the steps put back up, and he got the little stoop built. And he's gonna fill this in here, and then we'll have a post going on top of that, and then we're gonna get something to put around a trim. We're gonna get that track to put all the way around the side. And what he's doing now, he has got the window out already, and there was a little thing down there where they were going to put the air conditioner, but they rebuilt it. So, and put these um, here instead. So... We'll pick back up when he gets the whole thing opened up. 
At this point, he has the door in. I'm gonna take you back outside to see it from that angle. So he has the, the little stoop or porch built. He has the door in. He has the front porch finished. He has the steps up and he's put banisters and railings on everything so it'll be safer. And he redid the trim around the door on the outside. Well, this project is finished. We are through with this part. We are finished with this part. So, next, we're going to go inside and work on the inside of the door. Here's some of the materials we're going to use. And so, we've got to work around this door and get it all fixed. And we'll show you when we're finished. Well, as you can see, we're back home now. Neil is cutting all the names into little strips. He's gone back and written everyone's name down that has subscribed or liked or made a comment. And he's gonna cut them and fold them and put them in that bowl you see there. But we got everything finished up inside and out down there. We packed all of our materials, our clothes and everything that we were not going to let go with the tiny home. We packed that up and we brought it home and we cleaned everything up really good. So it's ready to sell and we just sent in our sales information. So it is officially up for sale now. We will have three drawings today and each drawing will go to a different person. And what we're doing, Neil went back and printed off everyone that had, um, well, he didn't print it off, he wrote it down. Every person's name or what, however you're signed in, he wrote all of those down for everyone that had um, subscribed. And then he wrote down the people's names each time that you commented, he put your name down. And the same thing for when you hit the likes. So all of those, what he's doing right now is cutting each name into little strips. And then he's going to fold them up and put them inside a stainless steel bowl. Pepper's helping. She is um, the boss today. So she's managing what Neil does over there. As you can see, she's doing a good job. She's making sure he cuts each one of them out just right. So once he does that, we will get back on here. And uh, our grandchild didn't come down this weekend. Jude, uh, they had to stay home this weekend. So Neil is going to draw in his place. But how we're going to do this we are going to, he's going to fold them all neatly and put them in the bowl. And then I'm going to hold the bowl up over his head so he can't see anything. And he'll reach in there and grab a name and give it to me and I will read that name out. So we will do that in just a few minutes. But as he's doing that, I want to uh, tell you that we're sorry we did not post on Thursday. We had planned to do so. We just worked so hard down at the tiny house that we just did not get a chance to do a video. So we will be doing our drawing today, as I said before. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about our uh, plans for selling the tiny house. Uh, we will be putting that up for sale, I guess, sometime this week or the beginning of next week, whenever they get that posted down there. Our tiny house has a living room, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom, and then it has that porch that's really nice. 
You can go out and sit on it in the morning, drink your coffee, and listen to the birds sing, and look at the trees. But this tiny house has full-size furniture and appliances in it. And we're leaving all the furniture in it, and we're leaving things like the lamps in the bedroom and some decorative mirrors that we have up above behind the lamps. In the bedroom, we have a queen-size bed, two nightstands that have, uh, each of them have two drawers in, in them. And then there's a lamp on top of each one of the nightstands. And then we have a chest and we have two closets, one for the lady and one for the gentleman. And then after you go out of the bedroom, you're in a hallway, kind of. It's bigger than a hall because to the right of it, there's a hall and then like a place back behind the hall there. And we have um, a washer and dryer. It's stackable. It's a regular size that you'd use in a house. And it's an LG brand. Really good. And then, um, we also have um, two closets there. One of them is a double size closet and one's a single where you can put all your, um, like your toiletries or anything like that, just things you want to store, your brooms and mops and stuff. And then uh, when you go on from there, you go into uh, the bathrooms across the hall there. And by the way, I'll just address that now. It has a tub and shower and it has a house size, just a regular house commode and sink. And of course it has a medicine cabinet above that. You can watch my pretty doggy while I'm talking. And then um, in the kitchen we have a stove and we have a refrigerator and we have a sink and um, we have a microwave and all of that's included in it and everything is just regular size like you would use in your house. I think the microwave might be just a touch smaller and all the cabinets are wood and all the flooring is um, the plank vinyl. The flooring's really nice and uh, then the living room what we have there that we left, we have an L-shaped couch and it lets out and makes a queen bed and we have a, a smart TV there and we have a um, kind of like a desk or table under the TV that the TV is sitting on. So that's what we have left in the house. Oh, there's also a pantry in the kitchen, a small pantry, I forgot to, to tell you that. And the uh, ceiling is a, um, it's kind of like the ceiling in our house, but you know, of course it's not as tall. It's a, like a vaulted ceiling, I guess you would call it. And uh, it's just normal like a tiny house has. And the outside of the tiny house is all cedar. And uh, then all of the flooring for the porch and all the banisters and everything is uh, treated wood. And both doors are really nice, especially the one we just put in. It's got some of the, um, the glass and the leady, kind of leady glass in it. It's got a real pretty design in it. And um, when you purchase these down there, we live in what's called uh, Venture Out and it is a tiny home and also they put, um, most of them actually, there's a few tiny homes in there, but most of them are like uh, trailers or motor homes. And there's a room around ours in the back, there's a little space behind it for there'd be a place for a fire pit and chairs. And then there's a place on the patio and the patio is um, concrete and um, there is a space there for like your grill and a table and chairs. There's a big old picnic table there right now, which we actually have never used. But that's kind of what it's like. 
um, if anyone would be interested in it, um, just send us a message on Facebook and, and tell us how to get up with you and we'll, we will contact you if you're interested. We are selling it for $130,000 and that includes the tiny house plus the land that it sits on. So you actually own those places there. You own the place where your, your uh, trailer or tiny house is sitting. Uh, what's included there, the only thing you pay, you pay an HOA fee and you pay your electric bill each month. Nothing else you don't have to pay that's in the HOA. Your water, uh, your TV, your internet, uh, sewer, everything is in there. It's a really nice venture out. It's a very, very nice place. It has a big pool and it has um, a place where they have special uh, programs like for the 4th of July or any type of holidays that they, they will have a big cookout and they provide just about everything. You can take a dish if you want to. And 4th of July, they have a big parade there and at each holiday they have something special. And um, if you have a family reunion and you want them to come down there and have it or you want to have a Christmas um, party there for your family or birthday, you can reserve. Um, they have a big old uh, circular building there and you can reserve that. And I don't think there's a cost. And there's two parking places at our trailer and it's really, I mean at our tiny house, and it's really a really nice tiny house. We got a really great deal on it when we purchased it. And uh, we had planned to keep it permanently, but um, we're just not using it. Where we've moved, uh, where we're at now, and then just about every weekend we're doing something. So there's really not much time for us to go down there. So that's the reason we finally decided to sell it. And um, we have good neighbors on both sides. And also it's a gated community. So um, they get, you have like a key card. And so you swipe that as you go in and it opens the big old gate. And then as you come back out, it automatically opens. I guess there's something there to trigger it. So it automatically opens. And that's really nice because you never have to worry about something happening to your place or something happening, you know, someone trying to break in because uh, most of the people there are either uh, people with uh, children or they're older people. So it, it's a very, very safe community. And it's, um, it's in a good part. It's about 12 miles from Gatlinburg. And uh, we like the community real well. It's got some restaurants that are close that are like uh, local restaurants and we go to one of them in particular a lot. There's a bookstore and coffee shop down to the uh, left a couple of miles and you know you have uh, there's a place on down the road where they have Subway and um, there's just a lot of little local things like that and then there's an apple barn uh, on down probably four miles from us where you can buy apples and and uh, they have dinner. You can go in there and eat also, or you can buy all sorts of fruits. Fruits and jams and uh, like fruit juices and uh, vegetables and it's, and then there's a candy shop there. So it's a good area and there's a couple quilt shops and there's a lot of things that a lot of people don't go to there. There is an artist loop that we like to go to, and then we do a lot of drives down there when we're there. But if you're interested in it, just let us know, and we'll be glad to um, either go down and video it. I think I have some videos here of it when we first bought it. If anyone's interested, just let us know. And shortly I'll get back on here and we'll do the drawings. Okay, friends, we've got all of our names and stuff in here. So, I'm going to go over a meal double, folded them. I'm going to go over, let him stick his hand way down in there, pull one out of there, hub. 
Okay, now let me bind it for you, baby. Let me tell you what that's for. This is for the digging tool. And it's my favorite thing. Favorite tool or anything like that they had at Baker Creek. I love that thing. And we use it all the time in our garden. So read the name. Hold the name up here. Terry Barrett. Congratulations, Terry. We're sure glad that you won this. And I hope you enjoy it. And now, let me let me have that name. I'll lay it with this so we'll know who to send it to. Okay. I'm coming at you with the next one. And what the person that is drawn this time is going to uh, win four packs of seeds. And if you remember the video from Baker Creek, this is the one that the, that the guy there recommended. Said it was his favorite. And so a lot of these I bought four packs, of, I mean two packs of them so I could have a pack and then give them away. And you get the nasturtiums, you get the orange accordion tomato, and the malaga maybe, radish. I think it's supposed to be almost a, a black radish. So that should be fun to grow next year. So let's see who is going to get that. Okay, hand in there, huh? All right, come out of there with one. Okay, let's see who this is. Billy McCoy, congratulations, Billy. We are so glad you won this. Now I'm gonna put his name right there. And the last one. And let me tell you about it. It's the Baker Creek uh, Vegan Cookbook. Now she wrote this a few years ago, but it's really good. And this, she is one of the founders. And uh, Emily Gettle. So, but they both, uh, I guess they both may have worked on it, uh, Jair and Emily. So this is what the third person will get. And let me shake it up again. Okay, hand in there. Okay, let's see who won. One oh seven oh Kentucky girl. One oh seven oh Kentucky girl. Congratulations! We are so glad that you won, and you all. I wish we had enough that everybody could win, but we're paying for these ourselves, so we really can't have more than like three a month. And so what we'll do, everyone that didn't win, your name will still be in this bowl, and I'm gonna put it right over here. And how this works is that if you won this time, some of these people may have, have um, they may have commented on every time. So, uh, this time, their name, go, one of their names goes out because they've already won on that name. But some of you may have done the same thing and your name didn't get picked. I don't know how many people had, because Neil did all of the, the putting in, I don't know how many people had a ton. I know there was quite a sum that had numerous, uh, there were some people that had more than one entry because they had commented uh, just about every time we had a, a video they watched and commented. So um, here's what I need for all three of you to do. I need you to go to Mornings at Sunrise Cottage on Facebook, not YouTube, but Facebook, and go to Messenger there and leave me a message with your name and your address. Now, uh, the first two, I've got their names, but the third one, I have no idea. Um, it says 1070 Kentucky Girl, so 
107 Oak Kentucky Girl. Just message me and say, Hi, I'm 107 Oak Kentucky Girl. Give me your name and address, and we will mail all these out. We're hoping to have those out by Wednesday. So if you'll jump on there right quick and leave us your name and address, we'll mail those out. Now, always remember, at the end of August, we're having another drawing, and that will be on our things that we picked up at um, the Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum. So that's what the focus of that one will be, and then I will show you on the next video, which will be next um, Tuesday. We're not going to do one Thursday because we're going to the um, 127 yard sale. So that will be the focus of our week, hitting that yard sale. So we'll have a good video of that for you on Tuesday of next week. And then we'll also show you again what we'll be giving away next month. So guys, thanks for watching and thanks for entering. Remember, the more you comment and you hit the like button, the more entries that you will have each month. So that will make your chances of winning higher and higher. Thanks for joining us this week. We hope to see you next Tuesday. May God bless you and your family. Bye, friends.